Well, welcome to the second Hebrew word. And guess what it is? Hesed. Go figure. Um, Hesed, the very word, the very name of who we are, is love. Not just any kind of love. It means undeserved, unearned, faithful love. We just love. No strings attached. No conditions. This, it's not a kind of love that we can earn in any way because we're actually undeserving of this kind of love. The only way we can receive this kind of love is through Jesus. It's the kind of love that was exhibited by David's mighty men. I use one example where David said, I'm thirsty. And two of his men crossed enemy lines to get water, then crossed enemy lines to come back and bring it to their king. And then David said, I can't possibly drink this water because it was you that risked your lives for it. Now, we don't know who drank the water. It doesn't say. But that is love right? Willing to lay everything down, not out of performance, but out of sheer love. We can't earn it. We don't deserve it. It just is. It's almost very difficult to understand. It's very difficult to comprehend has said love. The reason why I chose Hesed for, for our name is when God out, laid out the blueprint, the 14 mountain blueprint, and he said, this is what I want you to build. I said, my goodness, God, first of all, there's people all over the world building sustainable villages. It's the trend now. So what sets this apart? And as he, as he rolled out the 14 mountain blueprint and explained and, and, and gave me, just imparted into me the, the, not just the vision, but the, the essence of what King Solomon kingdoms are like, what the blueprint is like when it comes alive. I just said, oh my goodness, God, what are we going to call this? And, and I said, God, it must be built on a foundation of love. That's, th that's the only thing that makes this different, that makes this you and not just a worldly or any other sustainable village. Because this is about rebuilding your kingdom. It's not just building sustainable living um, to survive. This is rebuilding your kingdom. It, it has to be built on love. And as well, I can't call it love international. That just sounds too cliche um and i said i wonder what the hebrew word for love is and i looked it up and there it was hesed so our word for this week is hesed i wonder how we can live that out this week i wonder how we can love our enemies let's try and figure that out let's put this into action because the hebrew words are they're not just words there's a mystery, there's a majesty, and they unlock, they unlock the mysteries of God, the ancient secrets of God. So let's take action on that word this week, and let's unlock more of who God is. I bless you with that.